Hey guys, what's up? Would you like to see a pre-flight of a Cessna 172? If you would, keep watching. I'm gonna also share with you seven additional items that I checked that's not clearly stated on the POH, the Pilot Operating Handbook, along with a bonus tip at the end that could even prevent some potential embarrassment. So let's get to it. This video is made possible by the Flying School located at the Fort Collins Loveland Airport. And if you're in the area, be sure to check out their great fleet of aircraft. So one area to check for any potential stress cracks is right here on this machine flat for the nose fork. Look at the edge really carefully, make sure there's no big chips in the back or along the edges. And the alternator belt, take a quick look at that. And just look at the spinner and the cowing, just look for any potential fasteners starting to back out. Again, just look inside the cowling, see if you see anything abnormal. Take a look at the air filter, make sure there's no any major blockage. And then while you're up front there, take a look at the exhaust, make sure it's nice and secure as well. Moving on to the other side of the cowling, again, just overall look at the rivets and any faster. And always take a good look at the pins on the doors, make sure they're not coming out or any type of excessive bendage going on. Moving on to the pitot tube, make sure it is nice and clear. And on the back side of the pitot tube, there should be a hole there that make sure it's clear as well. And then the static port on the side, again, make sure it's nice and clear. Always take a quick look at the fuel cap seal and make sure it's still in great shape and the chain is fully attached. Ensure it is locked all the way there. again overall look at the plane look at all the rivets and any potential fasteners antennas and also while i'm at the top i take a look at the back the tail overall as well just kind of giving an overall moving on to the opening here for the stall horn you want to make sure it is free and clear as there is a check in the poh for this you know, into the landing light again, the fasteners, make sure everything is good. Moving out here to the wing tip. You have your nav lights, your strobe light. So even though the plane's tied down, I want to rock the wings a little bit here and just show you that I like to check and make sure everything's nice and secure. And on the ailerons here, you want to move and make sure that they move evenly and there's not a slop. Moving on to the flaps, always just give them kind of a, a wiggle here. Check the tracks here, make sure they're not excessively worn, or any deep grooves, uh, low spots in here, and just kind of move them as you're looking at that. One of the things I check is the cotter pen. Air clines for the leaks. usually have pretty big spiders around here. There's a huge one. I've never seen one this big before. This is pretty wild.
So another thing I check is the C-Track stops on the forward and aft side to make sure they're fully secure. It's also a good idea to take a quick look at the rudder pedals just to make sure the cables, everything looks good and all the pins are secure. Okay, number seven, personal comfort consists of making sure you have proper sunglasses on a really sunny day or a day that uh, just would require you to have sunglasses. It can really make a huge difference in really your overall comfort. For the flight and then if you have equipped headsets with noise canceling make sure your battery is up there's nothing like your battery dying when you're used to having that feature so make sure to check that as well you need to make sure that you're mentally and physically ready for safe flight so that's something that's really important that a lot of pilots may overlook is to just make sure that you've had proper sleep you're not extremely stressed or anything that might be going on just make sure you yourself or physically fit. Okay, and the last bonus tip that could even prevent you from some embarrassment. When you're coming in to land, it's more it's a pre-landing checklist item is make sure that your feet are positioned properly on the rudder pedals, preventing applying brakes during touchdown. And this could easily happen maybe when you're aggressive like in a crosswind landing or beginning as a pilot. So keep in mind and that will prevent you from putting bald spots on the tires which will make the flight school much happier as well. Till next time be safe and fly safe and I will see you in the next video later. Bye.